it's still wild to me how there's so much pushback against uh, migrants getting help. It's not like the United States can't help these people while also helping our own citizens. Look at the amount of money that they're giving to the Israeli government at the moment. Well, back here at home, despite months of pushback from neighbors, a migrant encampment on the city's south side is becoming a reality. Residents who live near 115th and Halstead say construction has been ramping up over the last several days, and we saw it for ourselves today, yet officials have not been forthcoming about the details. Casey Cronus live downtown with the latest. Casey? Dana and Natalie, we have asked again and again, but still don't have a project timeline from the mayor's office. Tonight, a spokesperson tells me they are looking into the site's infrastructure before starting construction. But whatever work was being done today was soon out of view. Behind a newly installed chain link fence that surrounds a once bustling grocery store, there's no denying that movement is being made. Actually, uh, renovating a abandoned grocery store into a shelter for a bunch of people is actually a real good idea. I mean, you got all that space to build rooms and stuff. You got you already got the plumbing, the wiring. You can easily um, install various things to uh, make it better. Uh, that's actually a good idea, and it makes use of uh, of a large old property. Yes, I heard they were out until 1 o'clock in the morning. But it's progress that on Sunday, crews were quick to cover up just minutes after we got there. First, a water department truck was positioned directly in front of our Fox 32 camera, seemingly trying to obstruct our view. But that's not all. Workers soon line the fence with a black screen. As a taxpayer, it makes me feel horrible. I feel that we have a corrupt system. They are not listening to the people. Residents, including Annette Kane, have been speaking out against the encampment since the very start. So now I'm looking as a single mom, what about us? Like Kane, Jaquetta Vaughn's concern stems from a lack of resources for residents. How about build something for the kids, the community, um, but instead this is the first thing that you do is build a tent city. City official. Yeah, I, I do. I do understand her plight. Why can't the city do the same for the residents there? And make the area nicer for the residents. Uh, this uh, two things can be done at the same time. The migrants can get help, and the residents can get help. Uh, those things aren't mutually exclusive. You shouldn't be fighting against one group of people getting help because your gov government is not doing much for you. ...are adamant a mixed-use housing development planned for the same site will go off without a hitch next fall. But neighbors say they're losing hope. I don't believe if, if it happens, it won't be for us. Meanwhile, community activist Patrick Gibbon says he is turning up the heat. What we want to do is we want to file an injunction against the city of Chicago. Gibbon says he hopes to take legal action by Thanksgiving. The mayor's office should be more transparent and there's a lack of communication all the way around. Instead of fighting to have this migrant center shut down, how about you fight to make your city do more for the residents this is i mean if if you can fight to keep other people from getting help then other people can fight to keep you from getting help and so nobody ends up getting help 